Broncos country, it's talking touchdowns time. And needless to say, the Broncos game against the Giants on Sunday is something to forget. Let's hope the Broncos can forget sooner rather than later because they have a division game against the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday. Can the Broncos pick themselves up and get another win against Phillip Rivers and the Chargers? Let's take a look. The Denver Broncos were almost unrecognizable on Sunday against the Giants. They gave the underdog the win and gave them their first win of the season. The Denver Broncos running game was almost non-existent on Sunday. They had a total of 46 rushing yards. Not great. With a stagnant running game, the Broncos were at a loss. Trevor Simeon has still yet to develop a strong passing game, and did I mention he threw two interceptions, was sacked three times, and the offense had three fumbles. Luckily, only one of them was for a loss. And let's talk about Brandon McMahon miss. I mean, McManus. He had a missed field goal and a blocked field goal on Sunday, and he's missed five field goals this season, all at home, with the altitude, which is supposed to help a kicker. And the Denver Broncos defense did nothing to help this horrific game. They allowed the Giants to 148 rushing yards and 128 receiving yards. Now enough about the subpar performance from the Broncos on Sunday. Let's take a look at the opponent who narrowly escaped a loss against the Raiders and beat them 17 to 16. The Los Angeles Chargers defense has stepped up and the Denver Broncos need to take note. They forced two interceptions against the Raiders and held them to 16 points. The last time these two teams faced, I talked about what a quality quarterback Phillip Rivers was. He ended up having 192 passing yards against the Broncos. And if you recall, the Denver Broncos dominated a majority of that game, but the wheels sort of fell off in the fourth quarter and gave the Chargers hope. The good news is the Chargers running game ranks 31st in the NFL. So on paper, that means the Broncos defense should be okay stopping the running game, but needs to work on solidifying the secondary. And of course, we'll finish with my game prediction. After a wild Sunday for both teams, I'm gonna go Broncos 17, Chargers 14. I'd like to remind everyone that this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Click the link to find out what the NFL is doing and how you can help. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BroncosFGSN.